The late breaking abstract that's being presented from, from my group in conjunction with the Munich Leukemia Laboratory um, is focused on using integrated whole genome and transcriptome sequencing to examine a very large cohort of acute myeloid leukemia and myelodysplasia. Um, I think this study is significant for a number of reasons. So personally as a laboratory um, and also for ASH, we've been very interested in the notion of using comprehensive sequencing as a better tool to understand and diagnose any hematologic malignancy, not just AML and MDS. So this also holds true for the study on ALL that we were discussing earlier. AML and MDS are a little bit different in that perhaps uh, clinical sequencing is more widely used already, um, but it's much more restricted typically in that most laboratories focus on very small or relatively small panels of genes and typically only look at sequence mutations alone without looking at gene expression or uh, structural genetic alterations, rearrangements and deletions and gains of DNA. So we sought to, to build upon that but also be completely agnostic to prior data and truly look at the entire landscape of genomic alterations in a large cohort. Um, and I think the final point here is that it shows that this can be done. Now, I think there's been reluctance to use this approach uh, because it's perceived to be time consuming and complex, but this study deployed sequencing in a clinically relevant time frame of seven days and showing that these results can be returned to the clinical record.